Next presenter is Daniel Heshuk. He will be presenting his project, Lower the Odor, Realizing Industrial Scale Applications of Soybean Peroxidase. It's high time we had a conversation about pig manure. <laughs> yes, pig manure. It smells so bad, in fact, that it limits the ability for pork producers to expand their operations. How would you feel if you were hit by the stench of manure upon opening your front door? Many homeowners, and quite reasonably so, are staunchly opposed to the nearby development of new barns, citing odor as their primary concern. But inside the barn, this problem becomes so much worse. These odors can get up to such levels that they can negatively impact the lung health and general well-being of both workers and pigs, both of which I would consider pretty important to the industry's operations. With the growing demand for pork products, this problem of odor control is paramount. My conversations with major producers such as Maple Leaf and High Life confirmed this. They care about the health and the well-being of their workers and livestock. They want to be good neighbors, and they care about their environmental impact. Unfortunately, pig farmers are left with limited options when it comes to affordable and effective manure control strategies, primarily relying on physical manure pit covers, which are both cumbersome and make pumping manure exceedingly more difficult. So at this point, you're probably wondering then, how did all this poop become my problem? I was actually in the process of developing a new technology to decontaminate pharmaceuticals from wastewater. One key source of pharmaceutical pollution, however, is livestock manure. Lo and behold, it turns out that my technology is also pretty good at odor elimination. So what's this technology? It's soybean peroxidase, a high stability, all natural, detoxifying compound that you can apply directly to manure to attack the foul odors. Large-scale testing of crude soybean peroxidase already demonstrated a staggering 80% reduction in certain odorants even 42 days post-application. But the best part here is, we've devised a new method of cheaply and sustainably purifying this compound directly from the soybean seed coat, which happens to be a pretty uh, a low-value waste product of soybean production. This could realize even better odor reduction and new industrial-scale applications for this compound. And with a global um, demand for, uh, with a global uh, odor control market expected to expand upwards of $9.9 .9 billion by 2032, soybean peroxidase offers a sustainable and effective new tool for odor elimination. Furthermore, our purification method, being affordable and sustainable, will realize new industrial scale applications for this compound, such as wastewater treatment, environmental decontamination, and even medical diagnostics. But first, let's focus on a major problem with few available solutions. Once we lower the odor of pig manure, we can all breathe a little bit easier. <laughs> Thanks, Daniel. Somehow I smell sweet success in your future. What uh, you do not smell is... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Questions now from the judges? So, I guess soybean peroxidase is, is um, you know, it's not a, it's not a novel compound. It's, you know, it's existed for, you know, within research and, and in the pharmaceutical industry for years. Um, so what is the, what is the, um, the IP? What is the intellectual property that underlines it? Is it the methodology? Is it um, the design of a device? That's a fantastic question. And yes, um, soybean peroxidase has been here as long as soybeans have existed. Um, our actual, like it's a trade secret, but our um, novelty is actually from the purification method that we use. The current method of purification for peroxidase is such as soybean peroxidase, but the more commonly known horseradish peroxidase is very environmentally degrading. It uses some very harsh um, compounds to do so. And it also is significantly more expensive than what our method is proposed to be, which I have to be a little bit quiet about that. <laughs> So you've mentioned various industrial scale applications. Did you choose pig manure for now because you have a partner? Is it because you can demonstrate something? Did, like how did you arrive at deciding to start there when you have this potential market? And how did you characterize the whole market? So to that's such a good question. Um, so over a series of like, uh, I guess, 60 customer interviews over the past um, few months, I uh, talked to a lot of people and I started off with pharmaceuticals. Um, I was hoping to uh, talk to them. Unfortunately, 
uh, they have a problem that's pretty big about pharmaceutical pollution. However, they do have a lot of strategies there that are able to handle it. Mine might be cheaper, but they already have stuff available. Pig farmers, um, they don't have actually the most, like the best um, technologies out there. Uh, currently, there's some manure additives, but they've been lately um, not extremely effective. So I'm looking at the place that has the most, the most desperate need for um, this technology. Okay, so my question without uh, putting you on the spot on something you can't share, but what is next for you? What and does the next 12 months look like? Absolutely, that's such a good question. Um, so the next 12 months, uh, I'm hoping to join Futurepreneur uh, for a um, startup uh, accelerator program. Um, this will be allowing me to find more sources of funding. Additionally, I'm looking to partner with um, major soybean processors. These are going to be people that I'll be able to actually source these soybean holes from. And potentially, we will be able to discuss new ways to actually purify, potentially on site. So that would be great because fresh soybean holes, always better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.